One of the biggest challenges you'll have as a photographer is taking a picture of an object up close or taking a picture of a very small object. And the reason for that is cameras, or I should say the lenses on cameras, usually have a minimum focal length. And basically what that means is that there's a minimum point at which you can bring an object to a camera's lens. If you get any closer, the picture is gonna be blurred. Now to solve that problem, if you're using a DSLR camera where the lenses are interchangeable, then basically what you do is that you get a macro lens. And basically the macro lens allows you to get very up close and personal, very close to your subject and snap that picture. However, with the P950, it's a bridge camera, not a 35 millimeter camera full frame with interchangeable lenses. So with the bridge camera, the lens is fixed and you cannot change it. Fortunately, on the P950, there is something that you can do to take pictures up close. And what you can do is to put that camera in macro mode. So I'm gonna show you now how to get your camera in macro mode. Okay, so here we are with our P950, we turn it on, and we see this icon right here, this little flower, that's the icon that we use to select the macro. So we hit the down button on the navigation wheel, and then we see autofocus, the flower, inf infinity. So we wanna use the arrow down button to make sure that we get to the flower. We select that. And that's it. That's as easy as it gets to get into macro mode. And once you're in macro mode, you see the little flower right here? That tells you you're in macro mode. And now you can get up close and personal with your subjects. So with our camera in macro mode, now we can go ahead and take pictures by getting very close to our subject. A word of advice, when you're taking a, a a macro photo and you're not in very bright sunlight it those pictures tend to be dark so you may want to turn a flash on but because you're so close to the subject what tends to happen is that the the lens of the camera or the area that the lens retreats into it will often cast a shadow on whatever you're taking a picture of so in a situation like that, it's best to have good artificial lighting. You may want to install lamps at different angles. Or one of the things you can do is that you can use your flash, uh, pulling out the diffuser on, the, on your flash and then just angling it at the proper angle so that the light will bounce off whatever areas you have around and get onto that subject that you're taking a picture of. If there are no surfaces nearby, then you may want to place like a uh, very white or clear surfaces nearby so that the light will bounce off those surfaces and hit your subject from different angles and properly illuminating your photos and the process. Mm -hmm.